Greetings all and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different by taking a look at the IONIO AM01, a unique mini PC that boasts a retro design and packs a surprising punch. Does this little beast live up to its reputation and is it worth considering? What would you use it for and under what circumstances would it be worth considering? Watch till the end for answers on this. Before we go on, just a reminder that our overviews are a concise summary of the top hands-on reviews out there, combined with my research and opinion to give you a quick and comprehensive breakdown of the unit and the experience most reviewers had with the device in one place, saving you time and pointing you in the right direction if you want to know more. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the specs. The AM01 comes in three main configurations, one with the Ryzen 7 5800U CPU, another with a Ryzen 7 5700 CPU, and another with a less powerful Ryzen 3 3200U CPU. All options come with expandable storage via M.2 slots and a SATA port for an extra hard drive, and dual-channel DDR4 RAM in different size configurations. You'll also find a good selection of ports, including USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, DisplayPort, and a 3.5mm headphone jack making it versatile for various setups. As mentioned, the AM01 allows for storage upgrades, but the process involves disassembling the unit to the point of removing the mainboard from the casing. This can be daunting for some users, and is an area where the designers could have made some better choices to make it more convenient for customers. It is also something to note if you want to buy a barebone system and upgrade it yourself. The AM01's real showstopper though is its design. It takes inspiration from the original Macintosh with a beige colored plastic shell and a slightly disorientating layout. To clarify, the face of the unit that has the Macintosh design is actually the top, and when you position it on its rubber feet, you do not get the full view of the Mac inspired look. You can set it upright by placing it on its front to get the full effect, but you will be losing the use of the USB C port and the 3.5 inch mini jack that is on the front. All your other cables will also be connected to the top of the unit if you do this, giving this little PC a rather bad hair day look. This is something Iron you should have put more thought into, but if it does not bother you too much, the compact AM01 definitely has a lot of other positive points. But before we get to them, let's take a quick comedy break. So tell me, did you hear about the scientist who absolutely did not trust atoms? You know why? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Bad dad joke, I know, but I hope it got you smiling. On that light-hearted note, on to performance. The AOM01 with the Ryzen 7 5700U delivers solid performance, especially considering its price. Benchmarks show good results, and it was clear from the tests that I saw that it handles tasks like video playback and editing without breaking a sweat. When talking gaming, the AOM01 can handle lighter PC titles like Celeste and Dead Cell at 60 FPS with ease. Older games like Age of Empires 2 also run smoothly at high settings, and competitive titles like Counter-Strike 2 will provide you with frame rates of around 70 FPS, according to most reviewers. AAA titles are a different story though. Grand Theft Auto 5 runs at playable frame rates with adjusted settings, but games like Control and Elden Ring require significant compromises. You can try using FSR to boost performance in some games but most people who had a hands-on with the unit advise that you expect a trade-off in visual quality then. Where the AM01 truly shines though is in emulation. You can enjoy a wide range of retro consoles with fantastic performance. Nintendo 3DS, GameCube and even PlayStation 2 games run smoothly at upscale resolutions. Xbox emulation is decent with some occasional stutters. Even Wii U games run great on the AM01, making it a great choice for reliving childhood classics. In regards to PS3 and Xbox emulation, the general consensus is that it is possible, but only on lighter 2D games, and maybe some 3D ones, but it will be a hit and miss. The more demanding a game is, the less chance it is of being playable. Something else to note is that Ionia's iSpace software is included on the unit and boots to this automatically. This is basically their custom front-end software that puts all your games in one place and allows you quick access to settings like power draw and so forth. It may be useful to some, but it is actually intended to be used with their handheld units, and many of the settings in the software like controller setup will not be relevant in a Windows environment. With that said, let's take a look at the pricing and availability. 
The most affordable I could find the unit for was on the Indiegogo page. Although it started shipping in December, their website does not seem to have a section for it as yet. Guess they will have to sell out on Indiegogo first. You can get the Barebones 5700U system for roughly $240, but you will have to add things like your own RAM and operating system if you do that. That process will include the previously mentioned unpleasant disassembly as well. The 5700U with 16GB RAM and 256GB storage is available for $299, but there was only one left at the time of making this video, so you'll have to hurry if you want to grab that one. These prices will also probably only be valid while the unit is on Indiegogo, and will go up once the sale of all the units there are done. From what I can see, just going on the specs difference, there will be a significant performance difference between the 3200U and the 5700U unit. So that justifies the price difference there. The 5800U will most probably not produce significantly better performance though in my opinion. The sweet spot to buy one then if you are interested will be the 5700U unit. I have to say that the price is pretty competitive, even when comparing it with other mini PC alternatives. And it certainly beats what you would pay for a laptop with the same specs. Considering all the before mentioned facts, I would say that this unit is definitely worth the price tag on it. But who would benefit most from this unit? In my opinion, this unit will be well suited for retro gamers looking for a powerful emulation machine that can play most PC games as well. Its compact and stylish design will complement the aesthetic of any retro or gaming setup. Casual PC users who need a compact and stylish desktop solution will also benefit from buying this unit, as it will run everything you need without taking up too much space. But that's all we have time for in today's video. If you're interested in a more powerful INU handle device, check out my overview on the INU Kuhn by clicking on the link on screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, have a nice day, and I will catch you in the next one.